Right guys, so believe it or not, I've actually got an early FIFA 19 video to show you guys and as Donald Trump would say, this is fake news, but in fact it's not fake news, it's actually the legit game, so EA Access must have been some sort of fuck up and they have gave the, way, the game away early I guess, so you can play your, you can play your 10 hours before the, the 9 days before the game comes out or some shit like that, I don't know, all I know is you were not supposed to get the EA Access until midnight tonight. And it's been available from around about 9pm, so that's good. And I thought we'd do a quick video here and just go over the uh, Scottish Premiership transfer budgets slash uh, board expectations like we did last year and just see what each team's you know goals and success and expectations are in this year's game. And I was looking at the ratings and uh, again, I think it's controversial, but we'll, we'll talk about it once we get through all the teams, but there's definitely a few things I disagree with in this year's FIFA. So straight off the bat, you can see Aberdeen rated at 2.5 stars. Board expectations, domestic success is high. Continental success, very low. Brand exposure, medium. Financial, medium. And youth development, low. I, uh, I'm not sure about the youth development. I guess they don't like to spend money, so you'd think they'd want to bring through the youth, but I, I don't think Aberdeen have the best youth system, to be honest, so I'm not surprised it's a bit low. Transfer budget, 2.9 million. Club worth is valued just over 8 mil. And you can see Aberdeen only got two shots in the game. We move on to uh, Celtic. Now, domestic success is critical. Um, what would you expect? Obviously, you know, three and a half star team, they want you to win the league. Continental success is low. It's the same, is it not? No, it's just uh, low. I mean, you'd think that Celtic would want you to do well, get into the Champions League group stages. So I'm pretty surprised. I think Continental success should be a bit higher than a four. Uh, brand exposure two, financial very low. Again, I don't really understand that. I mean, Celtic do try and financially they're always trying to sell their better players on for more money, make money by selling you know their better players to bigger clubs abroad in foreign leagues. So again, why they've got a five for financial very low? I don't understand. It should be at least a two in my opinion. And youth development is a three, uh, debatable. Uh, transfer budget 14.3, club worth 66, so uh, if you go Celtic man, nothing less than first will do for you. Uh, we've got Dundee up next, one and a half star team, uh, 1.5 million in the transfer kitty, club's only worth 1.8 million, holy shit, they've almost got more to spend than that club's actual worth, and to me that is absolutely mental. I do like their away kit though, got to give their, uh, I'll put their away kit over, I think it looks nice. Domestic success is 4, continental success 5, not that they're ever going to be in Europe but whatever. Brand exposure 4, financial 3, youth development 3, Neil McCann, you'll be getting the sack pretty soon I believe. Up next we've got Hamilton, 1 star team, fucking shocking but they are pretty shit in real life. You've got domestic, continental and brand exposure, all 5, but financial and youth development is critical. Which makes sense, they've hardly any money so they've got to focus in bringing all the young players through their youth system because they can't go they can't even afford to go and spend like a tenner on players never mind you know millions so uh, youth youth development it is we got not even a million pound to spend fucking hell if you go Hamilton you've got a miserable career mode ahead of you up next we've got Hearts two and a half stars domestic success is a two high continental success I keep fucking butchering that every time I go say it continental success five very low brand exposure medium Financial is medium and youth development too. It's very, I, I agree with that. I mean, Hearts do have a good youth system. They, they bring a lot of good players through the youth. Uh, financial, I guess. I mean, I, I, can, I, I can't disagree. Two and a half stars. I, I think this is all fair enough. 2.2 transfer budget. Personally, if I believe he's got a 2.9, I think Hearts should have a slightly bigger transfer budget. I think over the past couple of seasons, Hearts have actually went and spent money. They've brought players in. Aberdeen try and refuse to. They've even got their own Aberdeen DNA pish. They want their own fans to buy the players for them and that's not going to work because Aberdeen fans are stingy as fuck so it looks like Aberdeen's getting nay new players club worth 5.8 million I'd say it's worth a lot more than that especially being you know right in the heart of the capital but whatever man obviously FIFA does they think so up next we have Hibernian Hearts as rivals two and a half star team so pretty similar to Hearts you can see domestic success high continental very low brand exposure medium Financial is high, but uh, they're less reliant on the youth de development. Transfer budget, just less than Hearts, 2 million. And the sick club worth, again, just less than Hearts, just a little bit, 6.3. So kind of similar, man. Not much difference between Hibs and Hearts. And, and if you look at how we are in real life, even though Hearts are doing very well, 
you know, five out of five in top league, I'd have to agree that both clubs are pretty similar in terms of, in my opinion, in terms of where they are at the moment in 2018, albeit Hearts have had a great start this season, so I think both teams are pretty, you know, well level. Uh, Kilmarnock up next, two stars, could you argue for giving them two and a half? Possibly, but I don't think they deserve the same as, you know, Aberdeen, Hearts and Hibs, so I mean, two is probably about right, domestic success, medium, continental, very low, brand exposure low, financial high, youth development free, transfer budget of 1.5, club worth 4.5 million, and Kilmarnock, I think Kilmarnock with a decent career mode, you know, you maybe try and break into those Europa League places, and I don't know, maybe after a number of years, you could try and challenge at the top, would be hard, but, you know, out, outside of the top five teams, this is probably your best chance of cracking, you know, the Scottish Premiership, uh, up next we've got Livingston, one star team, look at that, pretty pish, not as bad as Hamilton, but still pretty bad. Domestic, continental and brand exposure, all very low. Financial is high, youth development low. Just over a million in the transfer budget and the club worth is only 1.8. So again, not very good for the, um, well, I mean, I would consider them an Edinburgh side, but I guess if you want to get all, you know, if you want to bring your map out and your atlas and have a look at the geography, you could say they're for Lovian. But to me, I mean, Lovian, Edinburgh, same shit, man, you know, to me, but whatever. Uh, I would say they're an Edinburgh side, but Livingston, who, who cares about Livingston? Fuck, <laughs> even though I'm doing a Pez Master League. Right, so Mullerwell, I did say that Kamarnik's probably your best bet outside the top five teams of, you know, cracking the Scottish Premiership, but Mullerwell is another good option. Two-star team, domestic success is medium, continental is very low, brand exposure low, financial medium, youth development medium, transfer budget 1.4, club worth, whoa, is that low, 2.4? It's less than half a Kilmarnock club worth. I didn't think there would be that much difference between Mullerwell and Kilmarnock, but there you go. Right, Rangers, this is uh, this, I, this is where I just uh, get blown away here. Rangers, a three and a half star team, same rating as Celtic, a full star better than Aberdeen, Hearts and Hibs. I just can't agree with that. I know Rangers have spent a lot of money, I know they've brought in a lot of players, and for that reason alone, I think maybe they deserve to be rated the second best team in the league, even though they haven't finished second since they've, in the last two years they've been up. I can, I could honestly, if you put, if you if you rate Rangers the second best team in the league in FIFA or Pez, I can agree with it, you know what I mean? It makes a lot of sense, but to put them at the exact same star rating as Celtic, I cannot agree with that. I mean, obviously... I know if you actually look at the, the numbers in terms of the defence, midfield and attack, Celtic will overall have a better team than Rangers, I've no doubt about that in the game, but I just think to be on the same star level, you know, it's kind of ridiculous, I mean, it's kind of like Arsenal and Man City, if Man City's a 5, I think Arsenal should at least be a 4.5, you know, I can't, I don't, at maximum, I mean, I don't think you could put Arsenal a 5 and Man City a 5, you know, to me it works like that, so that's just my opinion, I, I can't see Rangers why they're the same level as Celtic. I don't think they deserve to be a full star better than Hibs, Aberdeen and Hearts. But you can see domestic success is critical. Continental f f is low. Brand exposure high. Financial low. Youth development medium. I mean, Rangers, you'd think they would have financial difficulties. They'd be, <laughs> financial would be a bit higher than that, but obviously not. Transfer budget, 6.9 million. Club worth a massive 32.5. And they're for Glasgow. The, uh, the great city of Glasgow. Uh, up next, we've got St. Johnston. One and a half star team, eh, decent. They're not. They're not probably not going to challenge to the top, but they're too good to get relegated. Kind of club, medium domestic success, continent on brand exposure very low, financial high, youth development low, transfer budget one point four, club worth four point six, and finally, last but not least, St Mirren, the newly promoted St Mirren, who got rid of Alan Stubbs. I thought it was a weird decision to be honest, but uh, we'll see how they get on. Got a good draw against Celtic with the new manager. One star team. Domestic, continental and brand exposure, all very low. Financial is a 4. And youth development is a 3. Transfer budget of 1.1 million and a club worth of 1.8. So there you go, guys. That is all the Scottish Premiership board expectations slash transfer budgets for FIFA 19. Let me know what you think of these down below. I mean, I don't think, apart from Rangers, I wouldn't say there's anything really drastically wrong. I think there's too big a gap between Mullerwell and Kilmarnock. You know, I don't think Kilmarnock as a club or is worth double the amount of Mullerwell. To me, that's that's a bit off. And I, I don't think Rangers deserve to be... I think they deserve to be the second best team in the, the game. I don't think they deserve to, you know, be level on a star rating with Celtic and a full star 
better than Aberdeen Hearts and Ebbs. That's my opinion, guys. Let me know your opinions down below. And hopefully within the next, like, hour or two, we should have a couple of our career mode parts uploaded and maybe even a pack opening on Ultimate Team. Until next time, good luck, guys.